Hey guys, it's Rebecca Verstatt. In today's video, I'm going to be swatching out all of my like single eyeshadows. Uh, this also includes my loose eyeshadows and uh, shadows that broke that I kind of like tried to make into another shadow just so I could get them to work. Um, I have a whole lot. Um, I have two, like one loose shadow, one duo, and one shade that I made from like a broken palette. And then I have five loose shadows from my own line of cosmetics. I have 48 shadows that are mine and 49 singles that are from other brands. So I will be swatching all of these out. I'm going to do these on one auto. Um, a lot of the, a lot of from here over are newer shadows that I've had like a year or less. Um, a lot of these shadows here in the center, I've been using them since like some of them I've had since 2012. Some of them I've had since before that. So, um, whether I declutter any of these is going to be kind of hard. Um, what I plan to do for this month's Shop My Stash is I'm going to be pulling my own shadows uh, for like my magnetic palettes and like things like this so that I can use them and see what I think. And um, I will like leave a pinned comment. I don't know when this video will go up. I'm uh, depending, I've got so many of these I've recorded. I have like 14 of these videos to edit right now. Um, depending on how these work uh, in the month of February depends on whether or not I declutter any of them. Like I said, some of these shadows I've had since 2012. Um, so I want to try and get some more use out of them. I didn't own eyeshadow palettes before like 2018. For the most part, I used single shadows. That's what I, I gravitated to. I kind of just swiped stuff from inventory as I needed it for colors and whatnot. Um, so I do have these like separated out by like brand. Um, these are brand new. These I've only had for like two weeks, if that. These are all Lele Posh products. And um, I do have an affiliate code with this brand to get you guys 10% off. Use code Rebecca. I don't earn any money from it at all. So at checkout, if you use code Rebecca, um, you will save money. I'm not earning anything. I just want to be very apparent and clear with that. The majority of these in here, um, minus a couple of them, I um, have gotten either from a Birchbox, an Ipsy, a Sephora, a um, BoxyCharm, things like that. The, the majority of these. Like this shadow here I know I bought. This was in a kit that I got from Physicians Formula. I bought that. The Morphe shadows here I bought. The Colored Pop shadows I bought. A lot of these I either got as like um, the one colored rain shadow I got as an add-on, things like that. The rest of these that came in like subscription bags that um and that's where they these came from these did have like other packaging but as you can see from some of the warped pans i depotted these i will leave my depotting uh playlist linked down below in the description box uh so that if you guys are interested in like watching me like remove these from their actual packaging i you can you can do that and so again one arm i'm gonna swatch these on and the other arm i will swatch those on uh, i guess i will go with the pixie one first this one i have Tried to fix multiple times. This is the Pixie by Petra in the shade Orchid Ornament. This is a duo. This shade uh, came broken. They did send me a replacement. I do have another one of these that um, I have, I think, listed on Depop. I need to just crush this entire side up and then try and like repress it and see if I can do that. So. Try not to mess with any of the broken stuff. It's a really pretty like duo. I just, I don't reach for it because of the fact that it's broken and um, I don't want it to like get everywhere. So there is that one swatch. I, like I said, I need to just repress that and then I'll use it more. I bought a 120, I think it was, color eyeshadow palette from BH Cosmetics and all of the light shades on the first tray were broken and then several shades on the other tray were broken. So this is actually a combination of those and I just kind of put it in this little jar with some alcohol and it makes a nice, you know, for me, skin tone colored uh, shadow. I need to remember to, to use this probably pull it. This is the foiled again from Marsk Beauty. This is a loose eyeshadow. This is kind of like dark. It's silver. It looks silver here, but it's kind of like a grayish silver and it is a loose, it is a loose shadow and there is silver glitter that kind of goes everywhere when you use it. So it's one of those you kind of have to wet your brush, pick it up, get, get your brush wet and then, um, you know, apply it from there. So there's those. 
I will swatch out all of the Lele Posh ones now. This is Pop and Bottles. This is probably my like most favorite shade ever. And I'm just going to do a big old huge swatch of this because this is such a beautiful shade. I got this in a mystery bag. So this is this is stunning. Then we have Purple Nurple. Which is, I don't know if this is one of her neons or just a matte shade. Then we have No Escape. These I will also be using this month for um, my shop, my stash, because they're brand new. And I want to, like, these past these two shades here I haven't even used on the eye yet. This one here has, like, pink and purple and blue glitter in it. It's absolutely stunning. Then we have this one. This one actually arrived broken. This is I Am Poison. This is from their Biohazard collection, which she just restocked on her website, like, yesterday. Trying to do this with your pinky is not a good idea. It is a what she considers a neon shadow. And I did repress that one. Like I said, it arrived broken. She was going to replace it, and I said, no, I'll repress it. It repressed beautifully. Trying to do that with my pinky didn't work too good, though. It looks patchy on the skin, but I promise it's... It, it doesn't look patchy when you use a, a brush with it. You just kind of have to pack it on. This is actually a pressed glitter called Galactic. I'm going to be very, very careful putting this on my arm. It's a really pretty, like, purple glitter. I don't mind pressed glitters when they're in single form. I just don't want them in an eyeshadow palette because then the glitter gets on everything. And as you know, glitter is the herpes of the makeup world. Then we have Mad Love. an extra big swatch there but it's a beautiful shade then we have contaminated I did a first impression look with these shades this is like an orange to purple to hot pink shifting like multi chrome then we have prissy which is a really pretty pink shade Good thing I got two arms, huh? This is going to be a long video because I will swatch all of these out. So if you want to put me on two times speed, go right ahead. I will leave these all linked down below. Then we have Magic, or I'll leave the brands linked down below. Ooh. Whoops. This is like a black based burgundy shade. It's beautiful. Then we have Serpentine. I don't even have to look at the name of this one because I it's my favorite. And if you can't tell why, I, you must be new to my channel. Hello and welcome. And then lastly, we have Reaper. These shadows, for those of you that don't know, I have fibromyalgia. And I can feel like textures and things. So when things have like glitter in it, I can feel it on the skin, whether it's like on my arm or on my finger or on the eye. I do feel those um, and the textures do sometimes bother me. So uh, these are like beautiful shades. I'm glad that I got them. A lot of these came in like a mystery bag that I got and um, I'm loving these so far. So those will be going in my February shop, my stash, as well as like my single shadows. Now to grab some of these. These three are from ColourPop. I have Liar Liar. I better go up due to arm hair. Then I have Glass Bowl. And then this one is Libra. Then we have all of these. These are all Morphe sh shadow singles that I bought. So we have See Through My Eyes. And then Wild Garden.
honey baked. And my cat is in here with me, so he's like sighing laying on the bathroom floor. Then we have Bam. Didn't do a very good first watch on that one. Then we have Aloha. Looks kind of sheer. See, this is the problem I have with Morphe shadows. One, one shadow is really nice and pigmented, and then the other ones are like patchy and crap. That's why I won't be buying any more Morphe products. The brushes are okay, um, but their shadows are hit and miss for me. This one here is Glow for me. I'm running out of arm. Then we get into the two cargo shadows that I have, and for whatever reason, I didn't put the names on them. I think one of them is like Get Foiled or something like that, which would be this one here. And then we have this like turquoisey colored here. I think this one was like mermaid or something like that, but I, it's been a while since I got them. So I could be mistaken on those. I might be able to go up a little higher. Then we have two from colored rain. This one here is called uh, glamour. I couldn't read my own damn handwriting. And these feel wet. Oh, that's very similar to this shade. It's a little bit, a little bit lighter. And then we have this one here, which is Superstar. And this one I know I can pick up on my pinky because it's an amazing shadow. No double swatch needed on that one, but I will do it. And I did have somebody ask me to swatch out like all of my yellow eyeshadows. I do plan to swatch out all of my yellow eyeshadows. So. Uh, thankfully there's only like three on the counter, but then there's all the ones in my palettes and stuff. And um, she asked me to do that. I know I have one for orange and blue shadows, and I know I have one for, I think, green, and then I just posted one for black. So I'll get to them. These little guys are Coastal Scents shadows. They come like this. This one had another one to go with it, but it broke, and I said, screw it and throw it in the trash. Don't ask me what these are from. They're like the revealed versions of the uh, shadows and they're okay i probably ought to just get rid of them i don't ever use them i totally forget that i have them because they're so freaking tiny i'm even having a hard time sticking my finger in them i mean the shadows are nice that's probably why i kept them and they're all like shimmer shades then we have two from physicians formula these came as a duo one of them is called Barefoot in the Beach. Oh, Barefoot in Brazil, which is a matte shadow. And then the companion one with it is called Sundown. And this one is the color of my skin. And then I have two NYX shadows. One of them is STFU, which for those that don't know, means shut the fuck up. And then this one here is Gilded. I was looking for a really pretty like yellow and gold shadow. And I think Superstar wins out over that one. But this one's kind of like chalky. I don't know if you can see that on my finger, but it's very like, very chalky. And it goes on the skin chalky as well, but the gold shade is like a bright, a bright gold. I think I might do two more on top and bottom and then call it a day on this arm and then I'll switch to the other one. These are two Urban Decay shadows. One of them's in Foxy and one's in Lounge. This is Lounge. And this is a like really interesting like green to burgundy shifting color. And then Foxy is just a regular, like, yellow-based cream shadow. I want to make sure you guys can see that. 
and then I'll do the Marcel one. This one is in Rock and Rose, and it came with the two shades like in the same pan. Marcel, uh, I think I got this from a birch box like a while ago. I need to remember to use it. I depotted it because I kept forgetting about it. And um, now that I've depotted it, I forget about it even more. I probably should have just left it in its packaging and, you know, either given it to somebody or sold it. All right, so there's most of them right there. Actually, you know what? Let me see if I can swatch these on my hand. That might be a little easier. I'll just do smaller swatches. This is Wet n Wild's Cheeky. I thought it was a blush. I got this in my dollar store makeup challenge, so I've had that for quite a while. Then we have the Balms What's the Tea. Um, this is the He Said, She Said shade. And this is the Ella Eden Harmony shade. This is a beautiful shade. It's like a really pretty peach in it. It shifts to like a lighter, a lighter peach. I'm not quite sure if that's going to come across on camera or not, but it does shift to a lighter version of that peach. Then this is an, this is an Ivy White Beauty shade in the shade Gets Soaked. It's a really pretty like rosy mauve shade. This one's from Itzy. This is the shade Boho. It's a very crumbly shadow. It's also a dusty mauve shade. Then we have Nomad in Desert Sands. This is Nomad Cosmetics. This one is Chocolate Shake from Laura Sanchez. Then we have an ABH eyeshadow in RTW. I got this at TJ Maxx. It's the only ABH single that I own. You know what, I probably ought to use this with the Subculture palette. That would be pretty. <sighs> okay, five left. Whew. I might just do one of those with my thumb. I don't think I've ever done a thumb swatch before. Tell you what, my counter is going to be awfully clean. I've, I've done nothing but wipe it all day. This is like the seventh video I've filmed just today. All inventory videos as well. Then we have this one. This is the Hikari Shadow in Envy. I ended up repressing this. This is actually a cream eyeshadow. Why I had to repress a cream that crumbled like a regular matte shadow, I don't know. But it's a pretty shade. Then we have one from City Color in Beach Cottage. This is also a, a cream shadow. It's a really pretty shade and this actually feels wet and it's so pretty. Then we have Luna by Luna Juliet. This is from Suva Beauty. This is Barbecue. It's a really pretty like purpley shade. All right, here comes a thumb swatch. This is Schmoni. Um, I forget the brand. I, oh, this is Estate Cosmetics. Um, there we go. I got them all swatched. All 49 singles and uh, two sets of duos. I mean, technically, if you count... So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fifty-two shades. All swatched out. Now to torture the other arm. I think I'll do the loose shadows on my hand and then swatch these out from there. So there's fifty-two singles. Now to switch sides and uh, do the other ones. 
All right, now for the other arm, um, my my shadows, I do have a few of these left in stock as well as the loose pigments. Um, the Bold Effects eyeshadows are here. These are basically a pressed form of my raw pigments. And then we have my Super Silky eyeshadows, which are here. These are more like a satin finish. Some of them are foiled, some of them are not, but these are very soft. Um, but they're like richly pigmented, so they're almost as intense as these, but they're not quite as intense um, and they're easier to get off. The Bold Effects eyeshadows are like almost waterproof. Then we have like these little guys in here. Some of these are, um, these are like the matte eyeshadows. I've got some frosted eyeshadows in here. These were the a specialty collection that I did. One of them was based on like um, safari themed and then the other one was based on like um, carnival or uh, like fair kind of uh, things like one of them's called acrobat one of the shades is called acrobat and then um, a lot of these are the little ones here are like mid-size these were like the specialty ones that are based off the same formula as the super silkies they were just specific colors and stuff that represented certain um certain things that i did and then we have the mid-size eyeshadows up here i only have a couple of those left in stock of the big ones but um, figured I'd go ahead and let you know. And then this one here is an HD loose pigment, which is one of these mixed with a raw, uh, a regular pigment. I mixed this for a customer and this is what was left. So I'm gonna swatch this first. I think I used purple rain for the base and then I used uh, dark purple for the HD loose pigment. And you can use these wet or dry. I'll do the other HD Loose Pigment next. This one is in HD Chrome. It's like a black based gold. Oh, no wait, this is a silver one. My bad. And I'm making a mess on the counter. This is very similar to the Mars Beauty one. I literally just got that all over the counter. And because it has a raw pigment as a base, it will stain. It does stain the skin. It's very difficult to get off. Um, any of these raw pigments and stuff, they have like severe lasting power. And we have my three raw pigments. I have Banshee, Black Magic, and Cherry on top. But I wanted to show you, this is mine. And then this one here is the Marsk Beauty one. It's very similar in color. Mine just has a little bit more of a black base than the Marsk Beauty one. So we're gonna do Cherry on top first. I use this for my Harley Quinn makeup look. This one actually has shimmer in it, whereas the other two are matte shades. And it's a really pretty, like, rich red with red shimmer. Then we have Black Magic. And then last color is Banshee. And the only reason why I pulled Banshee from stock is because I dropped it and I cracked the container. So that's the only reason why this one is in my collection. So there's the loose shadows. And again, you can use these wet or dry. It just depends on how you like to apply loose eyeshadows. You can dip your brush in and get product on it and then um, get it wet or you can spray your brush and then dip it in, which is what I usually do. Or you can tap some into the lid and then put a drop of a, whether it's water or setting spray or something in the lid and then make it into a paste and apply it that way. Then we have the mid-size guys. I'll go ahead and swatch these on my hand. This one here is in Moon Glow. It's a really pretty like iridescent, like white, to green shifting product. I mainly use this as a highlighter because of the, the shade of it. Because it's so light, I'm trying to build it up so you guys can actually see it. And then we have Space, which is a black with um, silver glitter inlaid in it. And this is a rather old shadow, it feels dry. 
but the silver glitter doesn't blow off like some you know shades that have silver or have glitter in them this one is sexy it's like a blue based gray I actually have um, my London and Steelheart lipsticks um, go very well with this gray color because they're in the same color family and I'll do this one here this is a crushed metal in the shade uh, Prussian glaze and only reason why I have this this is actually a very hard press glitter it comes with an activator I have a few colors left in stock uh, a customer stuck their finger in it that's why there's a divot in it it's the only reason why I have this one and it's a black based glitter now to clean my fingers off and I will get swatching on some of the other ones I'm gonna be lose, leaving the bold effect shadows for last because they do stain and they are probably going to be the most difficult ones to get off my hand while swatching so starting with the super silky we have rockstar And this one is Threshold. This one actually feels dry too. Hello, pigment. See, this is why I need to go through and check the shadows and see which ones I need to throw out because some of these are rather old. Then we have Astrology. This one doesn't feel dry, but it's not picking up like it should. And then this one is Cobalt. See what I mean about staining? And these are the super silkies these aren't even the bold effects so just to give you an idea these have some really good pigmentation behind them when i sat down with a chemist to formulate the colors for these um, i wanted them richly pigmented but easy to blend then we have rhythm it's like a gray baby blue shade this one is funky town This one is pistachio. And this one is sphinx. Uh, pinky swatches suck. And then we have twirl. This one is Journey. It's probably one of my most used shades out of all of them. And this one is Elope. It's my next most used shade because it's like my skin but better. And yes, I'm doing three swatches because it's a very pale shade. Then we have Snow Bunny. Like, did I miss a finger? No. This one's got a little bit of hard pan in the center of it. Let me hang on. You know what? I think I'm going to put that one aside. I'm going to just get rid of that one because I can't even like trying to scrape it with my fingernail. That one is definitely really old. And if I can't get pigment to even come up on it, there's no point in messing with it. The next one is called Dark Angel. Let me move these over. This one is Dark Angel. It's a really pretty, like, plummy shade. This one is actually a uh, an eye paint. This is called Bright Navy. This is a raw pigment with a little bit of shimmer in it. Then we have Constellation. This one is Ripple. The next one is Dragonfly. The 
Then we have plumage. Why are you patchy? There you go. It's a little better. Purples are difficult shades to, to work with. This one is Unforgettable. Probably why I forgot the name. And that one's awful, awful patchy. Then we have Escape. Probably one of my other most used shades, as you can tell by the divot in it. And this one is Clydesdale. No, Brown Taupe. The next one should be Clydesdale. This one feels rather dry as well. And this one should be Clydesdale. Yep, Clydesdale. the shade please divine <gasps> divine have to be after that kind of fall and not break and we have intuition I've used this one quite a bit too as you can tell by the dip in the center it's a very very light like gray toned shimmer shade And then this one is Zest. I usually use this one as a highlighter as well. This one is Simplicity. And this one is Banana. Which you're probably not going to be able to see either on my skin because they're like they're like the shades that you use to set your products or to blend something out or to cover up an oops. Then we have Free Spirit from the um, Carnival line. This one here is Gazelle from the Serengeti collection. We have Acrobat from, again, the Carnival collection. And that one's like super crumbly. It just went all over everything. And then we have Antelope, which is also from the Serengeti collection. I'm running out of space. Then we have Daring from the Acrobat collection. Mystify from the Acrobat Collection. This one's also pretty dry. And we have Illusion from the Acrobat Collection. And then this one is Serengeti from, well, the Serengeti Collection. And this one isn't going to swatch out very well either because it's like a light banana shade. Good thing I have an elbow, huh? All right, now for the last collection, which is the Bold Effects. I'm gonna be using this part of my arm, but I gotta clean off the elbow first. I'll start with the hardest shades first. This one is Black Ops. Then we have Danger. And my arm is still wet right there. And this one feels a little hard pan as well. This is a shimmer shade, like cherry on top. Then we, we washed one. We have Torch. And let me go grab the one that just rolled off the counter. This one is Habitat. Then we have Lagoon. This one also feels hard pan. 
And then we have hedonism. And the reason why I don't need to look at the names on most of these is because, well, they're my shadows from my line of cosmetics, if you guys are wondering. All right, three more and then I'll be done. And then we have surf. Queen B. It's a really pretty, like, sunshiny yellow. And this is a satin shade. And then Icebreaker is last. I also use this as a highlighter because it doesn't really show up on the skin very well. It's just a real icy, icy white shade. It doesn't, like, shift one way or the other. It's just a pure white base with shimmer in it and some titanium dioxide. All right, so that's the bold effects there. All right, so here are all of the shades from my line of cosmetics that are singles, and I'm just gonna go ahead and throw the Snow Bunny shade in the trash. So I decluttered one so far, but what I will do is I will, um, I'll pull the Lele Posh and I will pull um, from my line for the month of February, I will most likely pull like all the pinks and purples so that I can do like Valentine's Day stuff with it. Um, and I will leave everything linked down below. Like my website, like I said, you can still buy some of these shadows. Um, the ones that I have in stock were made in like 2018 and I got them in 2019. So um, they're not that old. They've never been used. Um, so it is what it is. I will do discounts on them. You can use code 10 off on my website to save 10% off on anything. And um, Lele Posh, the code for that is Rebecca. If you are interested in, you know, purchasing anything from them, I don't earn anything when you buy from Lele Posh. Of course, my line of cosmetics is well, my makeup line. So um, that's everything for this video. I have very pretty, colorful arms. You can see definitely what kind of colors that I gravitate to based on the swatches. Um, a lot of blues and greens and yellows and golds and purples. Uh, I like my color. And now the fun part is getting all of this off. So yeah, hopefully uh, you guys like this. Um, swatching all, I mean, literally all of my single shadows, whether they're loose or pressed um, and a couple of glitter shades. And that'll do it for this video. I'm Rebecca Brissett. Hopefully you all have a fantastic day or night wherever you are. And I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.